I'm going to give you my exact settings on how I grew my portfolio 30% by scalping beer on Bybit using this one trading tool that is honestly not talked about often enough. Alltrady is one of the best trading platforms that I've ever used specifically for active trading. And I want you to look at it right now because I have a trade open in action. I actually placed this trade before filming this video and I want to show you what this looks like and how I'm using Alltrady to grow my account. One of the best things about Alltrady is that it has these presets. And over here in the top right corner, you can see this little magic shiny button thing. So if you click this guy and you come down here, you can see there are all these different presets that work extremely well for crypto. The benefit of using these presets is that I'm able to quickly just press a hotkey and I can place a trade like that. Honestly, it goes super duper fast. And this is what you need when the market is volatile. The second thing you need is you need a chart that is incredibly volatile. And that's exactly what beer has been. If we look at the chart over here on all trading, you can see going back just a couple of days ago, it had a severe correction where the price of beer fell down. Gosh, I think pretty sure that says, yep, yeah, 70%. Welcome to crypto, everybody. So I did not short this on the way down, but you can see with all these little arrows right here that I definitely did trade this on the way up. So the next thing that I like to do when I find charts that are incredibly oversold, that are incredibly volatile, is I like to zoom in. Right now I'm on the five minute time frame, but honestly, when things get super duper crazy like this, zoom in. This is actually the opposite suggestion that I have most of the time. Most of the time in videos, I tell you to zoom out. And I tell you that on purpose because most of you are just investing or you're swing trading. But we're specifically focusing on scalping. And scalping is about high frequency trading on fast time frames. So we know that it already dropped 70%. And now we can see how this thing is performed on the rebound. The other thing that I really liked about this chart is that, again, this is the one minute time frame. Look at these candles up in the top right. You can tell right there, it says 15% in a one minute candle. I know that it did fall 15% in a red candle, but we also have this amazing bounce that happens right here on the chart. Now, you can tell that I did not care, honestly, at all where I was buying, because when I finally found this chart, I was like, whoa, I am definitely getting into this. Now, the main reason why I was getting into this chart is because we had a huge V-shaped correction, and I don't care that I bought right here. I don't care that I missed out on all this action right there, because what happened happens next is going to blow your mind. When you use a predefined scalping strategy, like you can see here, where I have predetermined take profit targets, I'm just going to get in and get out, get in, get out, get in, even buying at the top, get out and profit, get in, get out, get in, get out, get in, get out, over and over and over and over. And this honestly continued for a long time. Here's my third tip on doing this. Not every single chart that is looking great for scalping stays great. Now, the reality is that this chart, while it is fantastic, eventually the chart starts to calm down. Tip number four is when we start to have less volatility in the price action, expect a big drop. So when we have drops like this, all of a sudden dropping in a one minute candle, 7%, dropping 6%. These are opportunities to buy on the dip. Now, I know it seems crazy, but you can see here, buying here, buying more on the dip, and I get to sell on the bounce. I get to buy, sell again, buy, sell again, buy, sell again. When you start to see a chart like this, that looks great, but it's starting to slow down in its price action and it's getting into a boxed range. This is another huge tip. Be careful because what's inevitably going to happen is that the chart is going to go and break down to the downside. Exactly what happened here on beer. Now, the reality is that I know exactly how to trade these charts. And I am not kidding you when I say I know exactly how to trade these charts. I bought down here at a predetermined price level that I knew is going to respect and I sold on the bounce and made a good profit because I know DCA trading. Now, when a chart is going down and down and down like this, it is admittedly difficult. And you'll see that I have an order here and I sold there a little bit too early, but I did not like the price action. It is way harder to trade on a chart that's going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper like this. When you start to measure all of this price action right here, it's actually really decent. As long as you get some good moves of about 3% to 5%, you have a chart that's gonna be great for scalping. Here's where things get really crazy. This is my last buy order and I sold and I got out on a beautiful exit right there. And the chart did some more volatility, 
drops 12%, pumps up 8%. Let me give you the secret sauce on how I do this. First off, I'm gonna be using the 21MA and the 50MA over here, just simple moving averages, nothing really fancy, but you'd be amazed at how well the price will respect these levels as support and resistance levels. The other thing that's great about these is that we can use them to gauge the strength of the trend, similar to the trending breakout indicator that I love. In regards to having this set up to take the safety traits, to actually fill them automatically, what we do with our preset right here is the way I have it set up, is that I am going to be using 20% of my available balance here, which is great. What I do is I break it up into two orders. And with these two orders, I have the price set automatically to be wherever the current price is, and the next one to be approximately 15%. Do not always keep this at 15%. Zoom, zoom out, look and see. Well, did the price respect this level down here? Sure enough, it did. And we wanna capitalize on any sort of panic. So the reason why we're only using 20% of our account which seems like a lot with leverage, is that we want to make sure that we have some wiggle room and we don't want to open up more than three of these at a time. So we're going to have a max of three simultaneous orders open. So that way we are staying safe. We're staying conservative, okay? The next thing is that we want to be scaling out. Now I have this set up to scale out at three and 5%. Why not just four? Well, I've been doing this for a while. And for some weird reason, this works well. The other reason why this works well is that let's say if the price comes back up here, it hits our first take profit target and then zoosh, falls down to Armageddon right there, falls down to the doldrums. Guess what? I have a safety trade ready and waiting to average down my buy order. This is my first buy order. And when I buy more down here, my average order is going to be more around there. So that way the price only has to bounce just a little bit in order for me to take profit and close out the position in actually more profit. So my secret sauce that I'm sharing with you is that I'm using the one minute time frame on extremely volatile charts. I am using leverage. I am using DCA. I'm using a fixed preset here for intraday trading that I'm taking a fixed half take profit at 3% and the other half at 5%, which is yielding me about 4% on average. Now let's talk about time. It all depends on how much time you have to trade. Honestly, this type of trading is super time intensive. You should be watching the charts like a hawk, but if you have a lot of time on your hands, if you are really hungry to grow your portfolio and to grow your account, this is how you do it. So if you want more tips and tricks like this, you definitely need to join the Better Traders Club because I'm sharing tips like this all the time with my trader and pro tier members and I have tons of other videos on here. Now, if you're someone that needs a little bit more help getting started with crypto, I want you to watch this video right here that's gonna set you up beautifully to come out shining like a lion. That is not an expression that exists in English, but I'm gonna say it anyway in the 2024 bull run. And until the next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.